Okay, so <clears throat> in a relationship, if um, the other, let's say the other person is quite sensitive and, uh, and can often project because they're in a negative level of consciousness that whatever you say to be helpful in a negative light uh, or they see you as being uncaring if you try to, to either offer them advice or either try and detach uh, with love. Uh, what can you do? Well, the answer for me is uh, it's a thing of, uh, and the answer has been said, it's a thing of letting go, you see. And also, um, one of the things, I mean, just from general experience, is if I'm dealing with someone with a very low level of consciousness, uh, quite often, whatever you say, you'll get into trouble. I mean, it's usually uh, the case where they will, in such a negative space, they interpret everything in the wrong in the wrong way. If you try and say, why don't you try this, or why don't you try the doctor, they'll think uh, you've said something really horrible. Or sometimes, if you don't say anything, uh, they'll say you're abandoning me. You're not you're not, you're not offering me any sympathy or empathy. So it is. So in, in those cases, then, if they're at a place where whatever you do, it's projected by the other person that you're, you've got it wrong, or uh, is what I'd do is I'd probably do, and I felt karmically, because if I felt I was karmically in a situation where I'm not allowed to leave them, uh, otherwise that would be failing the karmic uh, lesson, uh, then, <clears throat> then I'd have to stay in that, because intuitively it's like karmically, this, this hasn't been undone yet the karma between myself and the other individual. So I'd be doing a lot of prayer in the background. Um, and um, so it would be like, what, what is the karma? I love uh, Dr. Hawkins' anti-karma prayers as being one of them. It's like, okay, so this person is perceiving whatever I do as being wrong. So I pray, to forg I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who in this lifetime and past lifetimes has been extremely negative and critical and seeing the other person, even if they're trying to help, has been wrong. So I take ownership that the reason that uh, the universe is prevent presenting me with this problem is for karmic undoing. So I just keep praying for forgiveness that I've done, you know, like I might have a thought like, well, maybe in the last lifetime, I, she's doing to me what I did to her, you see. So I need to, uh, I need to uh, do the spiritual work. Uh, what are the karmic lessons? Uh, pray to the Holy Spirit for a miracle, intuitive guidance for the karmic lessons. What are the belief systems uh, that I need to uh, release? And uh, for me it's like, <clears throat> uh, so if I do the spiritual work, uh, and it's like you only show up in front of the person for a short time, so all the spiritual work you're doing will mean that there's a higher level of consciousness dealing with the situation than where you were before. So it's likely that, for example, uh, you, you, you'd find out which, which course prayers or which anti-forgiveness karma prayer you need to do by what seems to be the loudest in the relationship at the moment. And you might be praying or cancelling with those things or doing the Course of Miracles on those throughout, throughout the day. Uh, to before you meet the person, just to get rid of that stuff. And then whatever happens is whatever's going to happen. It's, it's your level of consciousness and their level of consciousness. So it will automatically happen. But the idea is, of course, um, one, another thing that, uh, that came up to me is generally, um, if people are in a low level of consciousness, um, you know, usually um, giving constructive criticism or constructive career, or, or, or trying to be helpful, is, is often perceived in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Because they just want to be listened to, or just have sympathetic noises, nothing that contravenes any of their belief systems. Even if they said to you, I'm a total victim and everyone's out to get me, and the whole world is bad, just to sort of nod and maybe not necessarily agree, but just to say, well, maybe go and see a psychiatrist at that time, that could be the answer for you, you'll probably bring up the wrong is, is, is something that they wouldn't take uh, in a way, even though you're trying to be helped from, from another level, you might be at the level of 400s, you being logical. Okay, this person has got mental disorder, they need to see a psychiatrist and get some antidepressants, but at that stage that would probably not be um, the thing to, to give them that advice. Another um, thing is to know everything is, is karmic, you know, uh, 
why you're with this person, why they're behaving in that, in that way. So it's like, well, one way to see it is like, whatever reason I'm placing this karma, it, it, it's meant to be, you see, and uh, I need to undo it. Or if you use the Course in Miracles lesson, it's, uh, you, could, you could see it from a different angle, which is, it's an um, assignment. Uh, she's an assignment, until I get the lessons I need to learn, and the sign is going to keep showing up. <laughs> Once you pass all the lessons, quite often, um, you, you become free. They may stay with you, they may not, but it's kind of irrelevant because the lessons have been, have been transcended. It's an opportunity. How is she hooking you in? You know, uh, how, how have you... The idea that you're responsible for another individual, well, the, I mean, the, the way to see that is, do you want... Has your ego got the power to be responsible and rescue another individual? So to, to the extent that you think you have the power by being an ego that has the power to rescue another individual, uh, how much power is in that? So if you work on the belief systems of needing to be a rescuer or that the ego has the power to rescue, is it better to let go of the ego and then just uh, allow something bigger and more infinite and the more miraculous to intervene? Or is it going to be something from the head that has the power to rescue? And is that so? Where is it one more likely to invoke a miracle? So I'd, I'd like the idea of being egoly responsible for another individual and feeling guilt, and then beating yourself up and thinking about the situation the whole day. For me, would actually be less effective in inviting miracles and resolving the situation then doing the prayers to let go and resolve the situation and to and to want them to want the infinite or the beingness or the flow to, uh, to intuitively handle the situation as opposed to the ego uh, holding on to old ideas of responsibility or that it has the power to intervene in the relationship so um, yeah, so the thing of them, <clears throat> you know, whatever you see, l let's say there isn't another individual, it's just you. You're just working on your perceptions of what the situation is. So, um, and actually what you see is totally different depending on what level of consciousness you're at. I mean, the other person may be projecting everything bad, but you only project uh, everything from your level of consciousness. So you may uh, be perceiving that I said this and that's the reason she's behaving that way. But it could be hardly what you're saying, but it could be totally relevant to where she's at, you see. So you're taking on more uh, based on your own level of consciousness. So each level of consciousness, as you let go of more, you see the situation totally differently. At one situation, you may see that there's responsibility that after you meet the person, that they um, that they seem a lot more relaxed and calm afterwards. So you have, you're having an outcome or an expectation that uh, uh, and trying to force the situation. So um, then, you, if that's what's happening, then you could work on that on the belief systems and things that you want to get an outcome. So it's quite often you'll go to another level of consciousness if you have no outcomes and expectations of yourself or the other individual because there's more letting go. The ego's not so hooked into controlling the situation to go in a certain way. So uh, by just working on your own stuff, uh, I think the interactions will come more from the infinite and less from the finite. So in those ways, um, but whatever happens, you know, it's like, I think it's a great idea what, what has been said just to keep prayers going on in the background because that will just help you lift out of the ego trying to solve the problem. Like if someone suddenly goes into trauma and you start thinking about it, that's a certain level of consciousness trying to handle it from thought. Whereas a prayer will invite a higher level of consciousness to deal with the situation and have a greater potential for allowing the miraculous to handle it. Because the head puts a lot of limits on what solutions will just come forth. And are the best solutions coming out of the head, or are the best solutions coming out of the absence of the head? And allowing that, you know, that more intuitive of the sixth dimension for the beingness to suddenly say or do, or for things to suddenly happen. 
It's also the thing to recognize is that, um, yeah, another way to see it is what's their level of consciousness and what's your level of consciousness in the situation. And really, it's like one way to see it, the way I sort of see it is a lot of this thing's happening intuitively, it's not at the level of thought. So it's like, uh, if, you can, if I can let go more of my thoughts, my need to be in control, and my thinking, and my self-centered story in the situation, then that would mean there's going to be more radiance of light and love. It doesn't really need words to be said. It's the radiance. So it's just like the thing of, I would say, like if Buddha walks into a room, everyone's going to calm down and bliss out, and they're not going to know why, even if he says nothing. So it's like that amount of illumination. So the level of consciousness is more, is more powerful than uh, going to the head. So miracles aren't, uh, they, don't, they don't actually come out of the words, they come out more of the energy or the vibration.